Okay. So, okay, so I just want to know like the crowd that I'm speaking to. Like, how many of you are computer science graduates? Like, oh, how many of you are like uh, self taught developers? Oh wow, pretty cool. Oh, oh, I'm surprised. Okay. Yeah, so so a little bit about me, like like when when I think Ken, when Ken saw this uh, title, he's like, why do you call it a pointless LED X telegram bot X recipe project, right? So it was like, well, technically there's no there's really like no end result to this project. It's like, what can I do with it? It was it's just a fun project. But why do I think like uh, why do I name it as a pointless thing? Okay, so a little bit about myself. I have a very, very, very diverse background. So what I mean by that is, if you look at me, this is me as a show presenter, strutting very, very confidently, the one on top. I was a sports coach, I was a dancer. Life over here, this is actually New Zealand. And I'm a self-taught developer. So that was a WordPress. You can see the alignment out of space a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that was like one of my very very first project that I did for one of uh, the uh, one of the company that I work for. Okay, so this is a Raspberry Pi. If you have not seen it, it's a mini computer that's like a credit card size. And this is the project that I did. So that's like LED, buzzer, uh, resistors, and things like that. So uh, today I really wanted to show you like how I actually work with Telegram board and everything. But have you guys heard of the Murphy's Law? <laughs> yeah, so, so in the morning, I was like, OK, I'm going to show my very, very cool Raspberry Pi project, right? I found an ice cream box, put everything, pack everything nicely. Then I came over and realized, hey, I can't SSH into my Raspberry Pi. <laughs> because I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi here, right? But that's the process of being like, you learn things along the way, right? OK, so. This was like, I prepared something like, okay, so this is what I'm going to do here. This is like a reminder, very beautifully done now and everything. Okay, but I'm, I have a video that I'm going to show you what I did. So my Instagram. So initially, this is going to be my grand entrance, but unfortunately, you can only see it. So this is actually a Mario theme song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how this actually works? Okay, let's just close this. So this is actually connected to um, a Telegram bot. If you can actually see it from here. So this is my Telegram bot and the robot face that you saw just now. That's the bot. So what is gonna happen is. Okay, it's a bit laggy. So you get a red light when you type out red. When you type out green and the green light come out. And things like that. So how I imagine this talk to be is like, I show you guys the bots and then you guys will take out your handphone and try to do something like, you know, do the bus or whatever. But now we have a video. It's not too bad as well. Yeah, so you can actually control all the lights over here. Yeah, so one thing that I did was, okay, if you type out gibberish, they always say like, oh, I don't understand what you say. So I actually pull out API from a quote. It's just for self-entertainment, you know, like that kind of thing. Yeah, so this is what I did over the weekend. Yep. Okay, so. Okay, so let me see. Let me just go back to my slide. Okay, so right now, so these are like some of the things that I learned from because my background is I actually do more of like front end web development. So what I did over here was that I have to learn like how do I actually control with Python, you know, uh, front end is very CSS, HTML, JavaScript, that kind of thing. So I learned how to SSH, do the VNC viewer. I actually have like my handphone all hooked out already for today, but Murphy's Law, so I'm still gonna make the best out of it. Okay, so this is something that I learned, which I thought it was really interesting. Like, how many of you work with Raspberry Pi before, actually? Yeah, so you guys know the GPIO pin, right? I never actually quite figured out why it's not number and sequence. It's like, you will have like uh, 14 here. If you can see, this is actually... Okay, uh, wait, hang on. So you will actually have 14 here, and then you will have uh, 15 here, then you will jump to like uh, 18 at a green one, at a green spot. 
Do you guys ever wonder why it actually happened? Yeah, me neither, but it's just the way that things work for the GPIO pin. Okay, so this is what I use for my uh, Telegram bots. So with the API, Python, everything is really useful. Like you have a Python framework and the buzzer, which is like the Mario theme song that you did, uh, that you saw just now. That was actually open source on uh, GitHub. So it's really cool. Like you can get like new projects and things like that. You get a lot of things from GitHub open source. And like what I really want to bring out from this point is that when you're a self-taught developer, right, are there times that you really doubt yourself? When in the beginning, like for me, I constantly doubt myself, you know, like whether am I better than people like that's computer science people, right? Computer engineering people, like how do I actually compare to them? Like they know all the concepts, they have like four years, massive, massive information all crammed there. So, so how am I as a self-taught developer going to stand up and compare with them? So that brings me back to my last point. Like what I want to really say is, What's the point of me doing all this thing? Like, shouldn't I be, you know, like uh, doing like what Ken is doing, like having like looking, exploring all the amazing CSS framework and things like that, you know, like <laughs> testing out the cutting edge technology. Well, that is very useful, but it also like, but sometimes it also means having fun, you know, like I think as a developer, like you, you mentioned like the code monkey and everything, right? Ted mentioned about that, but it's about how can you actually like bring fun back into development again? So it's about like trying out all like hardware. Like I would never ever have thought I would do this. This is, yeah, I haven't touched hardware. For like the last time was like secondary school. So it really brings the joy out of me. It was like, oh my, I can actually control things like with my telegram board. It's, it's just amazing. It's like, so the point is like, sometimes it's just about injecting fun into, like maybe look at things a different way. Like for, you know, like when I do front end, although you do SSH and everything, but with uh, Raspberry Pi, I really need to do it at a depot level. I need to understand how the network. And of course, I forgot that Raspberry Pi doesn't connect to Wi-Fi just like that. <laughs> now I know, now I know. And this all brings, it all goes down to like, I know like as developer, we all love learning and things like that. So it all comes together very nicely. So the point is like, we do all this stuff, sometimes to have fun, to inject, to learn, and, and on the, on the, along the way, you get to learn new stuff as well. So that's my talk for today, because yeah, that's it. So thank you. So if you want to find out more, yep, that's my Instagram and Facebook account. Thank you. Yeah, isn't it awesome? Cool, right?